guys you saw my video yesterday, we were here in the graffiti area. We'll call it graffiti street here. I've been invited by a few friends here locally to Jiao Tong Tea House. Now what is unique about this tea house is it's kept its traditions, the old traditional ways. It's not a Starbucks or anything like that. It's been here for a long time and this is where the older generation goes to have its tea. Yao Tong Tea House. I probably pronounced that wrong, but anyway, I'm gonna walk and bring you guys in to see this. Now, this isn't a place that you would normally just kind of walk in from the street unless you knew someone local. So let's go have a look. And it means transportation tea house. Okay, here we go. Is this interesting? I haven't seen anything like it, but it's the moment I came in here, I got a feeling of traditional China right away. There's no heat in here. This is as culturally... Guys, I can't really put words on this. Um, let's just take this all in. I'm in a place probably where they have not seen foreigner forever, but let's have a look. So, people would come here to play some games, have some tea, meet their friends? Yes, most of the neighborhood, apart from a visit uh, tour, <laughs> the tea is very cheap. Okay. They can stay there for mm -hmm. as long as they like. And not feel the pressure to be... There's probably a lot of wisdom in this room. A lot of, if, if you want to know. You see, uh, I, I think those, uh, those cups. So she was just saying that this is probably people that have, have their own tea cups. And we're going to have a look here at how they're making tea. Hasn't changed. Wow. Ni yeah, hao, how are you? Wow, very beautiful. So he's just mixing up the tea here. Yeah, so they chew them like that. Sunflower seed. Yeah. Sunflower. So uh, in the beginning, uh, for a cup of tea, three yuan. Three yuan. Yeah. Long eight yuan. Eight yuan. Quite. That's very affordable. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's of course you see in other tea houses in Chongqing, uh, tea, a cup of tea may cost 20. I paid in the tourist area for a teapot, uh -huh. 138. So yes, I mean, to experience this is, it's like to go back in time. Yes, yes. So and these are the teapots you're talking about. Yes, for hot water. Wow. So you'd have to have a pretty long arm to pour that, huh? <laughs> it's extraordinary. People are here playing cards, eating sunflower seeds, hanging out with their friends. Have these guys. There's a lot of a lot of wisdom here, guys. So you're gonna order the tea in this place with your phone. That's amazing. Yeah. Jasmine, do you like jasmine? Oh, I love jasmine. So let's take a jasmine. <laughs> Mm. So the jasmine tea. 
So, one of the men that work here brought us some sunflower seeds. So the gentleman is explaining as well that this is one of the last standing structures that actually brings locals together. As you know, China's advancement into the future, its infrastructure push, pushes people out of certain districts. But a lot of people here use this as a centralized hub to all come back and remember the neighborhood that they lived in. And you can see there are many different types of people here. This is obviously a good group of guys that come here to play cards. There's families that are around here. Some of them bring their own tea glasses just to bring in the, uh, the memories of before. And it's just a nice community place to hang out in and, and relax. And of course, we're getting starting to see some Chinese uh, tourists discover this place um, because it has this very special feeling to it. So guys, I'm about to leave the Jiaotang Tea House here. That means transportation. Well, that's it for me here, guys. I'm heading out and gonna go have some hot pot in Chongqing here in the graffiti art district. This is the first time that I've been here that the sun has come out and you can really now see the colors that finally have come out here on the buildings. And remember, this was um, 1.2 kilometers over 800 uh, artists um, painted all these buildings. There's 37 of them. And here's a gentleman that just continues to keep going on handmade shoes. This is handmade. This is Yes, handmade. What other country is that happening in right now? Finishing off the day here in Chongqing, guys. Thank you for the great adventure. So what did we do today? Hmm. We went down to Graffiti Street and had an interesting tea. Now this tea house I remember telling you guys about in the video was quite eccentric because the reason why it's still in its original form from 20, 30, even 40 years ago is because the locals who have been displaced, as you know, China is continually expanding, uh, putting up new buildings, towers, bridges, roads. So people actually move out of neighborhoods and they needed a place or a headquarters to come back and talk to all the friends that they knew. So that's what we experienced today, coming back to this non-renovated tea house in the middle of this graffiti street area in Chongqing. And it was interesting because there's characters that come there every day for many years. Um, nothing really has changed there. People come there, play games or even just have a nice tea and the prices very seldom change. When it first opened up I was told it was three yuan and now it's only eight yuan so not a massive price change in 30 years. So we didn't know that this was part of the room package but this gives us access to the executive floor level. Trust me Yuli and I are pretty sometimes frugal when we travel so we don't normally um, try to uh, upgrade these things but when they're given to you as an upgrade from the hotel it's kind of hard to say no but this is your own private kind of like a little executive lounge here with this view have a look at this view out here